Hey, Patricia, how are you today? I'm good. Hello. Hello. How are oh, you? It's I'm nice so, to see you. Nice yeah. to see you. I'm so yeah. excited to talk to you because we go we go way back. I know. <laughs> yep. The first time I ever interviewed you was here in Toronto for Pieces of April during the <laughs> Toronto International Film Festival. Wow, I'm telling wow, you, wow. I think I've interviewed 50,000 people since then, and I will never, ever forget my interviews with you because you have always been so near and dear to my heart. I just oh, love you. God. so. Thank so you good so much. You. What a beautiful thing to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, listen, I can't, I can't praise you enough. I'm not, I'm not going to keep bowing down to you, but I will in the interview. But, but you're so fun. lovely. And, and that, that means a lot to me. Thank you. Oh, well, thank, thank, you, thank you, you, Patricia. Listen, I, I don't even know where to start. I, I am always so blown away by every performance that you do. But with this one, I mean, my heart was breaking continuously. I honestly don't know how you keep topping yourself um, to play Eugenia, to play this mother who is dying, who is just doesn't want anybody near her, what she goes through with her relationship uh, with Monica, her daughter. Um, seriously, when you got this script, Patricia, like, were you, did you need 50 boxes of Kleenex near you? <laughs> well, you know, it. I found it absolutely galvanizing. I found it devastating and beautiful. And of course it was not, lost on me that a, a transgender actress, a great transgender actress would get to lead a film. Yeah. She would not be the secondary character. She would be, it's her story. And I, I, I felt very, I, I, but then I read about, then I read Eugenia yeah. and I thought, oh, I have to play that woman. Oh my goodness. Um, she has no dialogue. Mm. She has, she has very spare dialogue. She has no body, no physical, a body that's going to give out. I, I thought this is so challenging and such a journey and also just a beautiful journey if I play it right, because Andrea is saying, telling the story of, you know, an imperfect family, an imperfect right. union, an imperfect, it is still at the end of the day, thankfully it has a transgender woman at the center, but it is ultimately a family of fam, a, a story of family and life yes. and death, love and, and forgiveness and moving on and dying. And, you know, I, I, I said yes very quickly, but I, this part frightened me because I've never been quite so limited. Uh, I'm a verbal and a physical actress for the most part. And right. I suddenly had neither of those assets. <laughs> and I was, um, I, I couldn't really, it, um, uh, but I, I, I knew that I wanted the, I wanted to work with Andrea Paloro. I wanted to work with Trace. And then when the rest of the cast, you know, the great Adriana Barazzo, when she yeah. signed on, I was like blown away. Yeah. And then Emily and Josh, and just being these two beautiful little children. And I, I was just, we had no money, no time in the middle of COVID. And it was, <laughs> we got it made. We, we struggled, you know, but I don't think the film is small. I think the film is large. Yeah, I and agree. Yeah, I I don't. It's intimate, but the themes are very large. It's as big as it's potent. It's I've taken this film everywhere. Yeah, Bonnie, and and the reaction is huge to yeah. this film when people see it. I mm -hmm. from New Orleans of my family. And yes, that my family is amazing and cool. But I did. I just did a screening for the Financial Times of London, and the. <laughs> the was extraordinary amazing and because it was their lgbtq plus awareness week and i don't know i i think andrea is masterful he's a masterful filmmaker and yeah. he has arrived in a way that i hope people don't forget and overlook because the film is just is to me it's just it's masterful you know oh, and i'm I, yeah you know, Completely agree with you, Patricia. And, and you know, um, as you say, it, 
it, it, you know, you don't speak a lot. And, and when we do hear it's like whispers, you almost have to kind of get in there and, you know, you got to remember she's, she's on her last legs and she's, I mean, I'm dying. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm in the final, I've stopped the second round of chemo. I'm yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been, it's amazing that I'm even still alive. Exactly. Um, to be honest with you, but I do think, I think one reason she stopped, I think she started to give up after her child left. I think yeah. she really, Yeah. I think there is a hole, a void, and I think she wants to die because of that. But then when she starts to realize, you know, who this remarkable woman is in the house, I, I think it's just one of the most, kind of gorgeous moments in cinema and told in such a backward, odd way, you know, a, a rapprochement, this kind of coming together of who would have thought, you know, it was yeah. Andre and Trace, you know, the beauty of Trace. And so I just, I, you know, this part was so deeply emotional and so um, brutal for me. And every day on the set, I, I remember I would wake up early and have some breakfast. And then I wouldn't really eat anything the rest of the day. Maybe a bite of, I couldn't yeah. even really even eat lunch. I'd have like a bite of a protein bar or something. I just like, it makes sense. Yeah. And yeah. I would, and whenever we would finish shooting a scene, I'd go to get out of bed and people rush to help me. Or when I go to go down the stairs, everybody, blah, 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 and I'd be like, no, you guys, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm actually fine. I, I, right. I'm fine. But there was kind of this beauty of like the world that Andre and I created. It was so intimate and so personal. Mm. And so, you know, Trace and I got on like a house on fire and I immediately felt maternal to her. I immediately right. had this beautiful connection that I had to sit on for a while in the film, but I knew would come back in a, you know, in a fountain out of me. But it was just this beautiful experience in this old dilapidated house in, in Cincinnati, all of us joining hands almost to get through this. Wow. And I mean, I can't tell you how little we had. It was tough. Yeah. It was really tough. And, but then I think Andrea made this big movie. <laughs> right. But are those the more meaningful performances for you, Patricia? Like when you look at all of your body of work, you like I say, you've given us such great performances. And, you know, I, I like I say, I think back to pieces of April because to me that it is one of my top. It was 20 films. years ago. 20, 20 years ago. ago. I know. 2003. Yeah. I honestly. Woo! Yeah. And then I look, but I look at, you know, sharp ob objects and even like house of cards, just like whatever you do, you, you know, but then you look at something like this and yeah, no, you're not making a pile of money and you're not, you know, oh, no, 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 you know, no. whatever. Right. And it, it's clearly no, no, no money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's clearly not for that, you know, honestly, no, but, but it's, it's not. And you, but these are, you know, these are the moments in our life and in our career that we, I hold most dear and not because there's no money. Cause I've done, I think some really beautiful projects that had lots of money, Of course, um, yeah. but it's, it's, but it's that we, we got it made that we yeah. came together with nothing, a struggle. You know, my two producers, Gina and Eleanor, I mean, fighting to the end. And it was finally Cincinnati that put up a, gave us a nice package nice. and we were able to make the money to get to Cincinnati and, yeah. and start shooting. And, but it's movies like this that, that I think ultimately will define me, you know, I hope so because, you know, we had to check ego and vanity at the door and it's, Oh, you don't have any of that. You know, when I, well, I patty, I, <laughs> I mean, now I do, but when I'm, when I'm yeah. doing these certain parts, I, I don't care. Yeah, you know? I get it. And yeah. it's why I have the face I have. I have a real face at 63 and I'm very, I'm, I'm not judging anybody else. I'm just saying it's just a face I want. Right. I mean, 
I don't like another face, but oh, face you don't I'm need another with. face. And yeah. uh, but but it's just um, these are the journeys that I want to take in life. Yeah, the, these are the journeys that separate the men from the boys. Right, and I I was fearful going into this. I said to Andre, I said every day on this set, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go, what part of my body is going to give out, how audible I'll be. I just said, I, I, I have to, every day I'm just trying to, you know, clock the deterioration. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and sometimes as you deteriorate, you have that good day or you have that good moment. <laughs> For sure. Um, and then the rest of the day you're toast, yeah. you know, and yeah. I said, I just don't know when I'm going to be toast and when I'm going to be there. And, and I, I, he just trusted in me. He said, I'll see it when I see Penny. I'm, I'm there for you. So every day, every, every day was just this little private journey I had to take. And I had my dog. That's my dog. You know, do you know that that's my dog? I, I, I did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, I miss her every day. I miss I'm her sure. with all my heart and soul. Oh. I've only seen the movie once, and that's probably it's hard to watch. Her. I'm sure, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. for you. I, I, you know, and I, I do want to ask you, Patty, that yeah. when you met um, Trace, um, I mean, mm -hmm. she's so so amazing in this film. Yes, yeah, so um, and what I love a lot about this film is that it's not like a transgender movie. You know, no, like, no, not no. at all. But I wondered when you first met her, did you sit down and discuss with her, you know, um, maybe what her relationship with her own parents were like and how, how that all kind of played out? Because, you know, let's face it, it's it's not easy on a parent either. Um, and God bless yeah. the ones that can, you know, there's so many that do accept it and, and everything. But listen, I know what personally parents who, who don't, same thing as Eugenia, like, bye, bye I don't know you anymore. I could never, I could never imagine that. Right. Oh, but I, I, it's, it's, it's also, you know, it, it, again, he leaves out things and where was the father in this? And maybe I was saving her. Right. From a, a worse fate with the father. Okay. Perhaps. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And so, which was a backstory in the movie that they left out, but, 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 I, I took the hit. Um, anyway, uh, the, 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 and the truth is, is yes, I got to know Trace's, some of her very personal journey and it was very moving to me Yeah, and endeared her to me even more. But I will tell you the moment I met her, um, I just, I, I loved her. And I felt deeply connected and maternal to her. And um, I never questioned it. I never tried to break it down and think about it. I just knew immediately how I felt about her. Right. And that I, I was so happy because I had said yes before I met her. And then when I met her and then through the year and a half or whatever, however long it took us. And I'd see her occasionally in LA when I was out there and uh, me and Andrea, but, and then when we got to Ohio and I don't know, she's a very private person, but her personal strife is, is monumental. And, and, and I, it was not lost on me and mm -hmm. it never will be. And she's, really the towering reason I did the film yeah because I knew I knew that this this story needed to be told and the fact that the transgender community has so embraced this film right is just is music to my ears and to Trace's and to Andrea's of course of course yeah you know and and finally they are seen in a way I think they want to be seen and and Trace has carried the torch. And and I'm I'm very proud and thankful to know her just first and foremost as a, a woman, just as a friend. And yeah. then, you know, to have worked with her uh, incredible talent. And and 
just someone I'll know the rest of my life. That's rest beautiful. Of, yeah. Yeah. She seems like a very beautiful person. And like oh, I said, you know, yeah. both of your performances were extremely heartbreaking. Well, it was, we, it, we, we were kindred spirits in this, yeah. oddly, even though we were disparate, even though we had our separation. But, you know, I think in the end, your a mother knows your child is your child is your child. Is your yeah. Child. Yeah. And I, she yeah. Yeah, just have a, a few minutes. I don't want to take too much of your time today, but and I really do appreciate it. But, um, you know, like I say, there, like, oh my God, everything you choose, it's so good. It's so how do you choose what you want to do? Like, what what's the mood? You know, like we recently also saw you. Well, said, I'm also oh, offered. You know? I'm I'm also offered great things. You know what I mean? I'm I'm here. I am offered a beautiful film directed by you know great Andrea Paloro and and and. <laughs> And it's starring, a, a, you know, an extraordinary transgender actress, like kind of history making. I mean, who's going to not say like, but he, he look at all the women who could have played this mother. He comes to me. So I'm just lucky that somebody puts me there. You know, oh, I'm come lucky. On. not lucky. You're no, amazing. No, 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 no. You but I mean, about? there's a lot. It's yeah. like, you know. I play, you know, next year, you know, hopefully we'll be talking again when I the great Lily Ledbetter. You know, yes. there was a lot of people who wanted to play Lily. Like, I, it's me, you know, I, I, I am first and foremost offered the part. I'm just smart enough to say yes, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm up for the challenge and I'm up. I, sometimes I need to make them do a money job. And then sometimes I'm like, screw it. I'm not right. gonna, I don't care. I don't care. I'm, yeah, but I'm those money jobs mad. allow you to do these types. Of I've films. done you some, know what I mean? yes, not not as much as I, uh, but I'm but I've yeah. done quite a yeah. few, and I'm yeah. lucky, 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 and uh, to have money, and so I can say no. Nope, I'm going to Cincinnati. Yeah. To to, to shoot this movie, it's actually going to probably cost me some money, and I don't care. <laughs> because <laughs> it's totally worth it okay before we wrap now that you mentioned it what was it like to play lily oh my goodness i can't wait to see that well we'll talk later we'll save it you know it, yeah. that's a monument that was that was just a mountain to climb and like that was kilimanjaro i mean that, that was just like that i aged from 40 to 73 wow. it's tough and and again not a whole lot of money more than monica <laughs> and, uh, but uh, surrounded by gorgeous actors oh my yeah. god oh my god wow. so it's it's all it's all you know I just great people want to work with me and and that's maybe the the greatest that's the my fate I, I, I I've, I've somehow you know um landed with all of these great people to yeah. work with and and these great screenwriters and these great directors and these great actors. And often it's all in one project. So it becomes something, it becomes part of your life, mm. you know? When you give up so much, when you give up so much of yourself in a certain part, it, it has to be not for naught. It has to be for, the, the beauty and the humanity that a film is is conveying yeah yeah no for sure yeah it just like i say i i just thank you from the bottom of my heart for uh, everything that you do honestly i i i feel like I, so you know, i've known you for so long and and i, I know i know honey. i i i i yeah, really. but I need to come I back here to me. toronto and we can go have a proper dinner or something oh yeah come on come on come on, come on. <laughs> Uh, don't come to. in the winter come next summer okay <laughs> i'll come next summer all right all right it's a day thank you so much for your time thank you thank Best you Bonnie. you made my day bonnie thank oh, you oh listen you made thank mine you. so i i love you so much thank thank you i love you too really thank you bonnie okay, bye, bye darling bye-bye